Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on tree cookies. Preparing your own tree cookie is obviously something that's dangerous and you'd want to get your parents' help. But once you get a tree cookie, you can learn an awful lot from it. So let's go back to the lab and see what we can learn from this tree cookie. Okay, we're back in the lab and we have a really nice set of uh, tree cookies from a couple of trees here. And um, if we just jump right in, we can see sometimes rings very easily. So we'll just bring this up close to the camera as possible. And we can start counting um, tree rings right away. We can see that there are there's clearly a starting ring here and then uh, two three four five six and of course the outer ring seven so we probably have a, a seven or a eight year old tree right here and this is a very easy one to count now if you have a tree cookie where it's a little bit harder to see the rings you might want to do something like this. This um, tree cookie has been this tree cookie has been oiled, and sometimes oil or water will really make the the rings darken like this and make them a little bit easier to count. So that's a little tip. Now, um, if we have a a tree uh, that is a little bit more complicated, we still can take our time and usually get a pretty good count and also learn more about um, the life of the tree. So I have a bigger tree cookie here. Let's try and do a count on this one. Now first off we have looks like a very wide beginning um, growth and then there is a ring right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and of course the outer ring, twelve. So it looks like we have about a twelve-year-old tree here. But the rings you can see on this one are much more irregular than the other sample. Take a close look here for instance. This outer ring is very wide. Then there's a narrow ring, a narrow ring, and another wide ring. Now this tells me that these two years are probably much tougher years for this tree, probably drier, and the growing conditions were just not as good, so the tree couldn't grow as much. Compared to this wide one here, that was probably a, a very good year for, for this tree. And the other thing you can learn from tree cookies is from things that you'll see inside the rings. For instance, now this just looks like a, a little bit of a scar, but if you see things like ash, that might mean that the tree uh, survived a forest fire that year. And you can also look for irregular coloring because sometimes that can mean that the tree has had a fought off a fungus or a disease and if there are actual tunnels inside um, that may mean that the uh, tree was infested by some sort of bug so i hope you've learned a lot about um, analyzing tree cookies so get out there and uh, try and find your own tree cookies and uh, analyze them yourself